Hello and welcome back to Newsroom Nigeria. This is where we give you hot, fresh and sizzling news all day long. If this is your first time here or you haven't subscribed to this channel, please make sure you subscribe, like this video, leave your opinions in the comment section below. Don't forget to also turn on the post notification bell so that you can be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Group calls for arrest of National APC Chairman Ganduji for allegedly inciting violence. Kano State stakeholders against injustice have urged the security agencies to promptly apprehend the National Chairman of the All Progressive Congress APC, Abdullahi Umar Ganduji, for public incitement. This call was made during a peaceful protest and special prayer seeking Allah's intervention organized by the stakeholders against injustice presided by Dr. Idris Salisu Rogo in the Rogo local government area of Kano State. The coalition expressed concerns about the ongoing legal tussle surrounding the Kano State governorship election casting doubt on the impartiality and neutrality of the judiciary. They highlighted instances where APC leaders, including the national chairman, Abdullah Yuma Gantuji, had made statements about the outcomes of court rulings, which later appeared to align with the actual court decisions. The coalition also raised apprehensions about purported plans within the APC to influence the Kano gubernatorial litigation through the judiciary, allegedly to facilitate President Tinubu's re-election in 2027. They emphasized the need for the Supreme Court of Nigeria to uphold justice by ensuring that the rightful winner of the Kano State 2023 gubernatorial election Abakabi Yusuf is granted his mandate. Furthermore, they urge the judiciary to safeguard its ad and reputation by not allowing individuals associated with corruption to compromise its integrity. The coalition stressed that Tinubu can only gain the support of the people of Kano by adhering to justice and remaining impartial in the Supreme Court's decisions regarding Kanu. They expressed confidence in President Bola Tinubu's commitment to democracy and urged him to uphold the principles of fairness, equity and justice. Additionally, they warned that any attempt to subvert the mandate of Abakabi Yusuf could jeopardize national security, a situation that patriotic Nigerians should strive to avoid. The gathering of over 100,000 people at the Rogo Heat Ground conducted a special prayer and peaceful administration to show support for Kano State Governor Abakabi Yusuf ahead of a Supreme Court judge you or what are your thoughts? Let's have them in the comments section below. In fact, if you've been following the politics that has been happening in Kano State, you would uh, agree with me that uh, <laughs> the judiciary is no longer the last hope of, you know, the people because automatically the judgment is going to go in favor of the highest bidder, the one that drops the, uh, the highest amount of money is the person that uh, the judiciary is gonna go with and it's quite sad because <laughs> god help us in this country it's quite sad because i don't know i don't know like the le the the masses can no longer rely on the justice system of this country for them to get their rights for them to get what they was it's just so sad because Everything that has been going on in Kano in regards to the tribunal, it, it has, you know, redirected the fact that we have no justice system in this country. Sadly enough, we have no justice system in this country. 
because how can a judge pronounce a judgment and then by the time you get a CTC uh, copy of a judgment, it is saying something entirely. You know, what does that say? It's just, it's just conflicting at this point. So conflicting. No wonder Buhari, the first thing he did when he got into office, when he was elected as the president of Nigeria, he sent DSS after the judges, the Supreme Court judges. He sent DSS after them. And you guys, they discovered money in different currencies in their houses. It means that they know that they cannot deposit this money in the bank account because, you know, it's going to raise eyebrows. People are going to ask, like, how, how can a judge have this kind of money? Because it's beyond their salary. So they have to keep it at home, cash. It's, the judgment has gone to the ISB that that is, that is what is happening. We've seen different judge, different judgment, different court judgments when it comes to the tribunal ever since the election was concluded. And you would agree with me 100% that, you know, zero judicial system in this country. Zero. If you don't have money in this country, you are not going to get what is accrued to you. You are not going to get your rights. You are not going to get the judge to 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 help you the, the the courts i mean the justice system of a country to help you you're on your own you're on your own because before you know it your opponent will just go and carry money and give to the judge and before you know it the judge will be blabbing nonsense the judge will be blabbing nonsense it's, so, it's such a pity before we go guys let's take a look at some of the reactions we got online Adamu Uma says, whether you like it or not, the demolition governor is going while Dr. Nasiru Gawuna is coming. I'm not saying one person should not go. I'm not saying one person should not come. All I'm saying is, let the election really re decide. Let the election, the people, the people that the citizens of Kano State voted for, let it let it be the reflection of a court judgment that we are going to get we don't want a kangaroo court judgment we don't want a court judgment that has all already been decided even be before the judge entered the court we don't want such abubaka abbas says your nonsense call can't can stop judiciary can't stop judiciary from their job take or leave it Abba is down and there is nothing you and your Madugu can do about it. Aruna says Gawuna is coming. Hala's willing. All this bluff and counter bluff will not work. You can't depend your appeal with concrete defend your appeal with concrete evidence and resolve to the use of lobbying. Another person says nonsense talk. You people and your sponsor will be dealt with. What's the protest all about? To in intimidate the judiciary? Nana, they are not intimidated. Ask Peter and his supporters. Wow. -woo. Lastly, he is one for Moses. He says he is one of the dirtiest politicians that Nigeria ever had. Currently, what the corrupt judicial judgment being faced by many opposition parties is because of him is red is ready to rig everything just him and his party to remain in power he has already told the presidency win at all costs be it pure or dirty very terrible extremist politicians who doesn't care if the country burned down is a bitter man naturally you or what are your thoughts? Let's have them in the comment section. Thank you very much for always listening and watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.